Hi, my name is George Goodall, and I'm a senior research analyst at the InfoTech Research Group. Every day I get to talk to our clients about their ERP projects. In many of these conversations, I get asked one seemingly simple question. What is the best ERP platform? It's a simple question, but it's surprisingly difficult to answer. It turns out that you really need to ask this question in a few different ways. First, we have to ask why people are actually doing an ERP project. Ultimately, this is the driver for the entire thing. Then we have to ask what kinds of challenges people actually experience during the project. And then we have to explore what some of the key ongoing operation, operational issues are for managing the entire system. So the first question we ask is, what are the key drivers for your ERP project? Why are you replacing the existing system? I hear a lot of different answers here because every enterprise is unique. There are, however, some common themes. Our data indicates two common themes that appear in the majority of ERP implementations. The first is the need for improved reporting. The second is support for executive initiatives. The funny thing is that when you drill into these things, we learn that most of those initiatives involve some sort of reporting capability. The other things that we see are, of course, industry-specific initiatives and the need to accommodate future growth of the business. In many cases, this growth comes from international expansion and acquisition. So what does this all mean for us at Infotech when we review products? It means that we put a lot of emphasis on the data model underlying the product and how the product affords integration and expansion. Now, on to the second question. What are the key challenges that enterprise face during an actual implementation of an ERP project? To answer this question, we put a scale together that basically measures various factors on two things, the project cost and project grief. After post hoc analyses on a variety of actual ERP projects, we found three key factors that really govern overall project success. The first, anticipating and managing change for end users. Ultimately, if users don't end up actually using the ERP solution, the project's a failure. Effectively managing change depends on a variety of things. Good user interface is important, but so is the ability to support actual business processes. The second issue is appropriately documenting business process. This practice becomes particularly important as the business changes and has to upgrade and update the ERP system. Business process documentation can come in the form of detailed process guides or it can be executed implicitly in the application through effective support for workflow and process automation. The third issue that we see is managing the transition from implementation to operation. Now, no technology can effectively address this issue. Success here is about finding the right partners for both technology and implementation. ERP is more than an application. It's a long-term relationship with solution providers. So far, we've learned that an effective ERP implementation requires a technology with a good data model to support integration and ongoing development. This will support reporting, executive demands, and ongoing growth. But the technology also needs an effective UI, good support for custom business processes, and above all, robust partners. There's still one thing we can add to this overall model, however. Here we explore what happens when the implementation is done and we shift back to overall operation of the ERP environment. After accounting for a variety of factors, we see that the most important consideration is that business owners can drive ongoing improvements. Other important issues, not surprisingly, include executive sponsorship and again, end user training. So what actually enables business owners to drive improvements? Well, the need shifts back to data integration, reporting, and support for business processes. What makes a great ERP system? Obviously, an appropriate system has to be able to meet the base requirements of the enterprise. A manufacturing company, for example, must have the appropriate manufacturing modules. But ERP has been around for a long time, so there's a high degree of similarity between the various systems. The best products, however, have features that address the problems that we see at each stage of the ERP project. So finally, the answer to the question that we asked at the very beginning. What differentiates the best ERP products from the rest of them? Number one, data integration, the ability to incorporate data from across the business. Number two, workflow, the ability to create and manage business processes. Number three, financial consolidation, 
we need functionality to incorporate data from different operating units and from different countries. These capabilities are key to both supporting executive projects and to supporting enterprise growth. Number four, budgeting. This presents a challenge for many ERP platforms. Budgeting processes require business leaders to review actual data and to make commitments on future spend and performance. Since this data isn't just a record of an actual transaction, it can really stress rigid data models. And finally, we have number five, data management. A system should encourage clean data. Dirty data frustrates reporting, it frustrates business growth, end users, and ultimately it really frustrates executives. So keep these five, five factors in mind anytime you're making an ERP decision. These factors are probably the most important technology considerations. I feel that I have to add one other thing here as a coda. Remember that ERP is about more than just technology, and it's ultimately the implementation team that will have the greatest impact on your overall project success. As part of our independent research study, we looked at Sage ERP X3. The top performing products in our test scenarios demonstrated the five key features we've already discussed, particularly strong adaptability to enable enterprises to define workflows and information streams. We also really like the modern web native architecture and data models support complicated configurations and multi-site deployments. The other thing that we see common in the top ranked products is the strength of the partner community and the ability of that community to help mid-sized clients actually put solutions into place. For Infotech, I'm George Goodall.